Hello, this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space channel. I have a package here in front of me, and I've had it quite some time. I bought this from Dawn and Mary to Hip Chicks channel. I've been a repeat customer of theirs because their customer service is excellent. Uh, when they present an auction, they are wonderful. I wish I had a turntable because of them. They would, when they sell 45s, the smaller vintage albums, <laughs> yes, I said albums, they um, sing some of the tunes that are on the albums, and it's just so adorable. And uh, they talk about pop culture. They have a live every single solitary Tuesday and Thursday at noon at lunch. So, and I purchased this lot of wrapping paper from them. And I also purchased these pundum cards these are like it's like a box of dad jokes it's still sealed i haven't decided whether i'm going to run my channel with it by telling dad jokes or open it up and uh have dad jokes to tell in every chat that i go in so this would probably decrease my popularity somewhat <laughs> but the thing is i love it um I would kind of like to do that. Let's see. There's a sample on the outside. But it's Pundum. Puns for fun. Puntastic. Pun personal. For pun lovers. As a card game. And this is an expansion pack. So this has even more dad jokes if you bought the original pack. So <laughs> I bought that from them. And uh, they had a deck of it open and were reading some of the jokes. And I added a dad joke in the chat. So these are lovely, lovely vintage wrapping papers and tissue papers. Sometimes you could do transfers with these. Ooh, this is a pretty gold. And swirly purple. Oh, and there's uh, different architectural uh, buildings. This is looks like a lighthouse in a lighthouse house. Because the lighthouse where, you know, the older ones where the lighthouse keeper and his family lived there. So this is beautiful with the birds. It's like purple paisley pattern. Purple paisley pattern. Repeat that. Actually, some of these the screen printed them. be used as thumbnails. Oh, here's cats. If you're a cat person, this is perfect wrapping paper. Oh, and cute little kittens. There are two of these. And pink. My child does not like pink. Oh, look at this. Beautiful purple. And here are some that are completely sealed, never taken out of the package. Three of these. These are absolutely fantastic. A hummingbird. My grandmother Fausty. Loved hummingbirds. Okay. 
and here's some more kitty cat paper. We aren't uh, cat people, but we know some cat people. More gift wrap unsealed. Most of it's floral, which is wonderful. If you saw my video, uh, last video unboxing from uh, Rita, you know that I like flowers. I'm not very good at growing them. We have a um, nice big yard now that grows flowers. This is sealed. I think there was another one like this unsealed. And finally, roses. Beautiful pink roses. I think they're roses. No, they're not roses. Let's say they are carnations, I guess. But I'm going to go ahead and take one of these. Now, I just was on an auction, and I'm going to the post office anyway, and I have something that I've wanted to give someone for quite a while now. I wanted to give it to her on her birthday, but it's probably going to end up getting to her for her wedding, but it's a gift for her. I don't have a gift for, like, them, so... Yeah, the purple paisley works. Actually, it's the gift is blue and ivory. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. Now I'm having problems making up my mind. Okay. Should I go with silver or gold? Go with the gold. Okay, where did it go? It's not in there. Excuse me while I move a few things around. Yeah, I've already put peanuts in here too. <laughs> I have to deal with the peanuts again, but that's okay. This, it's not what's on the box. I completely wrap this up, but it's okay. I can rewrap everything. This beautiful box and if you look there's the Star of David and it's lined inside with velvet and we have a necklace that's the Star of David put that back in there rewrap this. The outside of this box is stunning. The inside the felt does have a few conditions but it's used. I hope that that's not an issue for her. That it's not bad. It's just, you know, it's vintage and that happens. Uh. 
didn't have to deal with the peanuts yet. So that's good. I've known this person for a very long time on YouTube. I don't hang out with them very much. Uh, she did find, uh, recently find someone that uh, she can deal with really well. And they're doing a weekly show. Oh, there are two sheets of it. It's really thin. So instead of cutting one double sheet in half, hope this ends up being at the right place for the uh, tape to be in the back. So we'll see. This ends up, yep, ended up with the tape in the back. I'm working without scissors over here. I like gift wrapping. I like giving gifts. It's not the ideal situation because I don't have a pair of scissors handy, but you go with what you have. And since this is really thin, it's easy to work with. Not perfect, but done with love. I used to wait until things were perfect to do them. Doesn't work really well in life. You need to just go ahead and do it. Trust things will work out. Hope that your friends and family know that um, you did it out of love and if they can't um, accept that maybe it's a little different than what they were expecting um, it's a lot better than getting nothing um, so that's the way you have to look at it I uh bought someone in my family a great deal of carnival glass and I went to great lengths to obtain it because my budget is not all that great so anyway it was an anniversary gift And it was laid out on the table after she'd unpacked all of it. And she took her little finger. Imagine there's six pieces of carnival glass given to you by someone that really doesn't have a budget <laughs> to do such a thing, but went to great efforts. And you touch the top of one piece and say, not quite. And the husband sits there and says, well, if I have to build a shelf for this, but doesn't complete the threat. So anyway, I'm not buying gifts for them anymore. And also when it came time for my birthday, they didn't buy me anything. Not a happy birthday on Facebook, nothing. I'm a loving and giving person, but you have to also love yourself. And if somebody treats you like that, 
it's time to stop giving to them. I would do, rather do random acts of kindness to complete strangers than have people that I know that are supposedly close to me treat me like that. So this gift is going out with no expectation of reciprocity because I know this person on YouTube, but we're not family. We're not close friends. We've known each other for years on YouTube, but, and I've bought things from her. Maybe in the future she'll buy things from me, but this isn't a gift to someone uber close to me. So I can't expect anything back, but this week I got a gift from a person like that on YouTube for me. So, you know, it all comes out in the wash. God takes care of those that are loving and giving. And just because someone treats you badly, if you buy them a gift, doesn't mean you shouldn't continue to be giving. But just be more selective on to whom and to how and to where you give. And, um, have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.